Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, CJ Sander here and today we're gonna make another lightning fast tutorial. Today I'm gonna teach you how to do some cool particle effects in After Effects. So here we're, what we're going to create. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is go in After Effects, create a new composition. Ten seconds should be enough. Create a new solid. Make it black. And apply particular. I'm gonna move this over here so the particles are already starting at the beginning of this composition so it's gonna be something like this <clears throat> what I gotta do now is turn the velocity down to zero go to physics air and crank up the wind the wind on y axis it's gonna look like this and a bit on x axis Now what we got to do is go to Turbulent Field and increase Effect Position somewhere to 500 then turn the scale down to 6 and turn up the Octave Multiplier to 3 So we're gonna have something like this Now what we need to do is uh, change the emitter type to sphere, so we have particles all around, not just in a string. We can move this a little bit lower, right over here. Now the particles appear and disappear like randomly in, in an instant so we need to we need to change the way the particles appear and disappear and for that we're just gonna go in particle uh, size of a life and make it like this now I'm gonna turn down the particles per second to 40 and I'm gonna change the particle type to cloud. Also, decrease the size to two should be enough. Okay. <coughs> Maybe change the color to a bright yellow. So I think I should decrease to 25. Yeah, way better. <clears throat> okay, now to create these strings, the only thing you have to do is enable one simple feature. You can find it in AUX here, AUX system, which stands for aux auxiliary system. So just turn it to continuously. And just make it a uh, sphere. Okay. Now, what's gonna happen? The particles already generated will also generate particles. So I'm gonna change the particles per second somewhere to a hundred. It's gonna be like this. and decrease the size to 3. <clears throat> now, what I don't want is to see all the particles generate particles. So what I'm gonna do is turn the emission, emission probability to 5%. So 
there's a probability of 5% that a uh, particle will generate other particles. So just as before, I need these to look really smooth, like s small, big, small. And what I'm going to do is size over life and do it like this. Now I need to increase the particles per second a bit more to 200. I'm gonna change the color of the life. So it's gonna be orange, bright yellow. Now the last step, what I want to do is add a glow effect, stylize glow. This looks pretty good, but I'll, I'll have to change the glow colors to A and B and make it orange and reddish. Hit RAM preview. There we go. Now, uh, I wanted to do this in a separate tutorial, but since we're here, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to loop particles in After Effects. What I basically want to do is make the start be the same as the end. So when you start again, you will have exactly the same thing and there won't be any funny particles appearing and disappear out of nowhere. So what I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate this uh, particle layer, <coughs> name phase one, I don't know, Phase two. Now I'm gonna go here in emitter and keyframe this particles per second, press U and move it at the end of the composition. Now I'm gonna go back here around 6.15 release the keyframe, press it again, keep it on 25, go 550 and turn it down to zero. So what it's gonna do is gonna start generate particles from this point to this point and we'll get um, at the same state that it, as it was at the beginning. Now I want to make this layer disappear so I'm just gonna keyframe it over here and turn the particles per second down to zero. Now I'm just gonna purge the memory so I don't have anything funny going on and this should be pretty much the same start as the as the end same particle as at uh, the end same particles at the start so, so there you there you have it guys this is how you loop particles in uh, after effects unless the software 
I mean, the, the plugin doesn't come with any kind of looping options. Some of them do have loop, looping options, but uh, when you don't have that option, you just have to find your your way around. All right, this was CJ Sander. Peace out, guys. I hope this uh, tutorial would be useful for you. And as usual, I hope you will message me with things that you've created based on these tutorials. All right. Thank you and see you next time.